sorry for my lack of interesting background. This is a video for science. Um, this is Luna Roses, and I'm pre I'm presenting on bobsledding and the physics behind it. So for the background and training, um, bobsledders usually have backgrounds in other sports such as American football or track and field. They do a lot of running, jumping, and lifting weights. Now, how you win is you win by having the lowest speed upon crossing the finish line. Any team that fails to finish a run is disqualified, as this is a team that crosses the finish line without all of its members in the bob. However, crossing its line, sorry, crossing the finish line with the sled upside down or on its side doesn't disqualify a team as long as everyone is still inside. Now for their equipment, they need the bob, which is the sled, and basic body protection, such as a safety helmet, safety goggles, or a full face visor. They wear skin tight suits for aerodynamics. Gravity is a huge help in bob setting, as they wouldn't be able to go down the runs without it. I do have the pictures that we were supposed to associate of their equipment and of their equipment basically. <laughs> Going down, friction is more of a hindrance than a help in bob setting. The wet or slick surface of the ice helps lessen friction, as the bobs need to go fast to win, making friction as a slowing force the team's enemy in their sport. As I said before, they lessen friction for the runs with ice, as well as thin metal blades made to lessen surface area and glide along the ice nicely to make them go faster. They also wear skin tight suits to help prevent any unneeded friction with the air, although I can't imagine those things are comfy. They also keep bobsleds sleek for surface air, for less surface area, meaning less friction. They also have brakes to stop. Those are the helpful friction. They are metal blades or rods of sorts that jut into the ice to help them slow down to stop. Sorry for the jerky camera. I'm recording this on my phone. Ugh. Unbalanced forces. When they push off at the start and when they make sharp turns, those are unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces are forces that generate a net force above zero and move objects. And as balanced forces, they have the stop at the end, and, well, the guys in the bob are balanced. Balanced forces are forces that generate a net force of zero and don't move objects. Potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy in bob setting builds up when they start pushing the bob, and is exerted as kinetic energy once the bob is moving and going down the run. Newton's laws of motion. The first law. This is true to bob setting. The bob doesn't move until pushed and doesn't stop until the brakes are used. For the second law, how much an object moves depends on the force of the thing moving the object. The more force applied, the faster it moves. This is also true. The bob's speed depends on the ignore my typo, please. The bob's speed depends on the size and strength of those who push it off, and the speed it gains while in motion depends on the size and weight of the bob. The third law, every action has an equal opposite reaction, such as if you start pushing the bob, its weight and size will counteract you, and you need to use enough force to move the object. The bob is pushing back on you as hard as you are pushing forward. This is true in the fact that when they push the bob, it doesn't move immediately. It starts slowly dragging, and then moves fa fast. This is the bob's equal opposite reaction. Centripetal force. The definition of centripetal force is a force that acts on a body moving, a, moving in a particular path and is directed toward the center around which the body is moving. Centripetal force takes play in bob setting whenever the bob takes sharp turns, which causes it to slide while sideways. Like, yeah, like that, because I didn't explain that clearly. But it doesn't stop moving. This is what holds the team in the bob and prevents them from falling out by holding them in. Acceleration. The definition of acceleration is a vehicle's capacity to gain speed within a short time. Acceleration is important to bobsledding. Without acceleration, the bob would never gain any speed while going through the run. But because it does, acceleration is taking place as the bob gains speed while sliding down the run after being pushed off by the team. Okay, I don't really have anything else to say, so enjoy the seal for the last bit. Thank you for watching. This is my first video. And... I hope I get a good grade on this. Bye.